blood clotting. Okay, this is a sequence, so I'm going to actually give them numbers. So following a break in the skin, there is a cascade of events that leads to blood clotting. That's what the mark scheme has said on this. Number two, platelets release thromboplastin, which is an enzyme. So a thrombus is a blood clot. So this is obviously an enzyme that's related to the blood clotting process. I'm going to tell you how I remember each of these as we as I draw a diagram at the bottom. So this enzyme, thromboplastin, converts prothrombin into thrombin. Prothrombin into thrombin. So like prototype, it means like almost ready. It means precursor to. So this is the early version, like prototype, into thrombin, which is also an enzyme. So the thrombins, the TH1s, are both enzymes. In fact, I think you get a mark for saying that, so I'm going to put that down there. We can say thrombin converts fibrinogen into fibrin or catalyzes the reaction that fibrinogen say so fibrin fibers it's not a you can say fibrin fibers form a mesh that trap red blood cells and platelets to form a blood clot RBCs, red blood cells. For some reason they put this right at the end, I'm not too sure why, but it requires calcium ions, Ca2+, or you can say vitamin K, to happen. I'm going to say calcium ions to activate the thromboplastin. Okay, so how am I going to draw this out? I'm going to first of all underline my enzymes in green. Thromboplastin is an enzyme and thrombin is an enzyme. So we're going to start off with prothrombin. This is like the prototype of thrombin. Oh, maybe I can draw it as enzyme. I'm going to make this one up. Okay, so our enzyme is going to be in green. This is my thromboplastin. And it's activated with this, which is going to be my calcium ion. And this molecule here, which is going to go into it, is going to be my prothrombin. It's going to fit in the active site, you can see here. And it's going to get broken down into, I'm just going to draw it split in half. You have two products. And this is going to be my thrombin. And then this is an enzyme itself. And this is going to convert this diamond shaped thing called fibrinogen. into fibrin. And remember fibrin, actually, this is purely a diagram. Fibrin is going to form this like mesh of fibers. It's a protein and that's going to trap red blood cells 
and platelets, which I'm just going to draw. Maybe I'll just draw them as. And this is going to form a blood clot. So this is, I'm just trying to demonstrate how the flow of events happens. We can write that in words as well. But, okay, so if we go from the order, we go thromboplastin comes first. And this is the longest word. It's got most letters in it, if you count the number of letters in it. Then we go to prothrombin. That's the next one, and it's converted into thrombin. And so these, every single word gets shorter each time. And so that's a nice, easy way of following it through. Also remembering that pro means like prototype. That is converted into this. Yeah, and you end up with a mesh, which is the blood clot.